What's good, good people? Derek Jackson here. So some of y'all may remember a couple of weeks ago when I uploaded the video talking about why a man leaves you and then gives the next woman everything that you deserve, right? It was a couple of weeks ago and I'm kind of late to the party, but I did end up looking in the comments and I saw a lot of debates, uh, things like, well, maybe he liked the new woman more. Uh, maybe he just wasn't into you. Maybe you were the problem, so on and so forth. Now, before I get into that, let me just kind of quickly summarize what the video was about without going too deep. Essentially, what I was saying was very specific to a serious relationship. When you're with a guy, he's making all these promises up front or he's making them throughout the relationship. So you're hanging on waiting for this version of him or waiting for this version of him to come back or in, in trying to inspire that doing everything that you can giving him the best years doing what you're supposed to do and then he just doesn't it never comes into full fruition but quickly he gets in a new relationship and he's everything and more to that woman that you were asking him to be and i gave the reasons why you know go back and watch it if you you know didn't get a chance to or what have you but I wanted to address those that were saying things like, oh, maybe the problem is you. Maybe he liked the new woman more. First things first, and I did address this in that video. If a man likes you enough to be with you, he likes you enough to give the best of him to you. Like if he likes you enough to be with you, there's no levels to this once he's with you. Like if I like you enough to be with you, call you my girl, make you my wife, whatever the situation is, I'm giving you my best. And guess what? If I don't give you my best, then the problem is me point blank period but as far as could the problem be you whether you're dating or in a serious relationship the answer is yes is there a such thing as a man leaving you dropping you losing interest in you no longer wanting a relationship with you and he's still real yes there's a such thing as that happening there's a such thing as a man that knew your worth uh through and through but just did not want you did not want the relationship with you but but there's a way to tell if that's the case and it's important to understand the difference between a man who is real and you know he just didn't want you or y'all were incompatible with each other and somebody who was legitimately trash because everybody's going to tell you to learn from your mistakes or learn from the relationship no matter what take it on the chin just learn and keep it moving but the way you learn is going to be contingent on what kind of guy that you were dealing with if you were dealing with somebody that was trash you need to learn the red flags to you so you can avoid this type of guy at all costs going forward if the guy was real if the guy had integrity if the guy was decent, but it didn't work out, yet the complaint was a similar complaint to the last real guy that left and the last real Now we get to look at if there's a better way that you can approach dating or relationship. Now we get to look at if there is something problematic about the things that you're doing so you can avoid that going forward. But first, we got to understand who we're dealing with and the way that a guy leaves you or the way that a guy will walk away from a relationship tells you a lot about it. It's like, for instance, if a guy disengages like verbally is, is straightforward about where he's at. He's not interested. If he disengages, I consider that guy to be integral. I consider the guy to be real. If he straight up tells you, I'm just not interested. I don't see this going anywhere. I don't want to waste your time nor waste mine. Have a good life. God bless. Go ahead and be great. That's a real dude. You can't ask for more than that. Put on your big girl underwear, take it on the chin then and try to learn from what it is that you know went wrong. If there's a pattern there with other guys, by all means, put them together and say, you know what? Maybe I need to work on myself. But if the guy disrespects his way out of the door, if the last couple of weeks or the last couple of months in that relationship was him just stepping all over you, talking to you any type of way, and then, you know, you can't take no more. So you get out of a relationship and in the next relationship, he's just exalting this woman. She's a sun star moon. He, you know, this is his rib, all of this other stuff. No, you are not the problem in that situation. That dude was trash. He's just waiting for a situation where that woman gets on his nerves or becomes somebody that he feels like is attacking him or whatever type of victim mentality that he has gets active he's she's going to get that same version of him that you got don't worry about it now another way that you could tell that the guy was real is if he added value while he was there if there was mutual benefit to him being in your life like he was like he wasn't using you up like a trash dude would do that dude had integrity you know if he wasn't telling you things like oh i want to be with you it's a guarantee i'm gonna be with you knowing that he didn't if he wasn't like asking you for money over and over again, or, you know, if it was like some type of mutual benefit, um, you know, maybe it didn't work out per your expectations, but it wasn't a complete waste of time. While he was there, it was cool. That dude is real. We're going to consider him like, hey, he decent. It didn't work out. Maybe y'all were incompatible or maybe there was something wrong that you actually did. But when a dude is trash, he will use you up, meaning he's going to get something from you and it's going to be strictly off the strength of that thing that he's getting from you that he's even still there. Like say, for instance, a lot of people understand sex, right? So sex can sometimes be mutually beneficial if the dude is being forthcoming about where he's at mentally and y'all both get horny, y'all both do y'all thing. Guess what? He didn't use you. Y'all use each other. Y'all utilize each other. But if a dude is telling you, oh, I want to be with you, you guys see wifey and you blah 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 and then you notice it's not going anywhere and then you cut off the sex and then all of a sudden he's not ready for a relationship he ain't over his ex like he thought he was 
so on and so that dude trash trash i don't care how he treats the next woman he was trash you dodged a bullet and she about to get hit with one she just don't know it yet another way that you know if the dude is trash or not is if he actually cuts things off whenever he says he's done now let me give some context here. Just because a guy comes back doesn't mean he's automatically trash. I'm talking about the guys that want to ping pong in and out of your life. The dudes that want to say, you know what? I'm done with this. The moment that it gets uncomfortable, the moment that you bring forth your concern, the moment that you start holding him accountable, the moment you start asking questions about things that ain't adding up, whenever the dude leaves because of that, but then he comes back whenever his dick is hard again, that dude is trash. He don't even take your emotions seriously. He don't take a relationship seriously. He's gaslighting you in essence. In which I talk about this in my book, Don't Forget Your Crown, because if he's gaslighting you or any type of manipulative tactic, you need to avoid him at all costs. For those who want to know more about the narcissistic red flags, to know how to avoid this type of guy, uh, when he's most likely to try to approach you, what type of woman that he usually preys on, click the link down in the caption. I'll put my book for 60% off through the end of the year. Don't Forget Your Crown talks a lot more about it. But the moral of the story is this. I'm a big believer in letting every experience that you go through make you better, not bitter. But the way that you do that, the way that you do that is to learn. You can't just block everything out, throw everything away because it was uncomfortable. But be careful about that word bitter because a lot of people will call you bitter because now you know better than in, in, to, to entertain their type. They'll call you bitter because now you know to avoid their type. And a lot of women fall for that trick and I don't want it to be you. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, don't forget your crown where I go way more in depth about how to avoid the guys that are actually trash. I'll put the link down in the caption or in the bio or wherever you see it. I'll let y'all let y'all be good. Peace.